strength. He's blessed me with health and strength. He's blessed me with a good family. All my children have been saved. And I've got five grandchildren. Praise the Lord for that. God's blessed me greatly. Now, he, he has no respect to person. He'll do the same for you. If he'll do it for me, he'll do it for you. You don't have to go out here and lie and steal and, and do all these evil things to get uh, for God to bless you. He'll bless you if you'll obey him. But the Bible says he'll open the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing. That you'll not be able. What did he do for Peter there when he went out of fishing? That's what Peter did for a living. Peter said, I fished all night here. I've been here, this old place, uh, over and over and time and time again. And the Lord said, just cast your net on the right side, Peter. Peter said, well, you know, Lord, I fished all night here. We ain't caught nothing. No doubt he, he knew where the fish were. Peter did. He was a fisherman. That's what he did for a living. But the Lord said, Peter, cast it over there. Just cast it. Just obey me and do what I tell you to do. When he did, the Bible said he brought his nets up. And his nets began to break. They were so full of fish. <laughs> and he had to call his buddies in other ships to come over and help us get this on the boat. <laughs> that's, what, that's the way the Lord do for you. If you put your faith, you believe him, and you obey his word, he said he'd pour, out, pour you out a blessing that you'll not be able to contain. He said, try me. Try me. Try me. A lot of people try the devil. They try sin. It don't work out. It don't prove to be true. It don't work out. It gets them in trouble. It gets them in prison. It causes their family to split up. It causes homes to break up. It causes all kinds of havoc. But I tell you, if you put your faith and your trust in the Lord, he'll make a way where there seems to be no way. A Christian is a person that surrenders to God. They surrender their life. They, they give their body. They give their mind. They give their spirit. They give their life to the Lord in surrender to him. The Bible said, present your body as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable, which is your reasonable service. They just don't give him part of their time. They give him the whole life. And Jesus said, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things that you need. He said, I'll add them unto you. I'll give them to you. God wants to bless people. God will take care of people. The Bible said there in Romans 6, I'm going to read this scripture and I'm going to quit. Romans 6 and 16, he said, Know ye not that to whom you yield yourself servants to obey, his servants ye are to whom ye obey, whether sin unto death or obedience unto righteousness. Now, does that tell you uh, what a Christian is? A person that obeys uh, their self is a servant of sin and obeys their self. Uh, they... Uh, they're not a child of God. A person that obeys God, uh, you know, is a servant of God. And yeah, that's a person that obeys. He's controlled by the Holy Spirit. The Bible says there in Ephesians 5 and 18, Be not drunk with wine wherein is excess, but be filled with the Spirit. That's a person that's controlled by the Spirit. You see, the Spirit don't tell me to do these evil things. It don't tell me to live ungodly. It tells me to live according to God's word. That's what the Spirit teaches me. And it'll teach you the same thing if you'll be obedient to it. May God bless you, sir, prayer. We're going to turn it back over to the Messer family.